to emotional and physical issues. So that's kind of like an intro. That's the introduction in terms of the general holistic approach. So quite naturally, um, before we can move forward, we need to know where we are. So with this presentation being about dance, we need to just take an overall look at where we are in terms of the dance space in the context of anxiety, depression, body image, etc. We've got a few graphics here, which I'll refer to in the middle. So here we have uh, a typical result from one of the Czech questionnaires. So this would be the nutrition and lifestyle questionnaire. So this is these questionnaires that uh, we put clients through are designed to assess overall stress load on the body. So we've got this graphic down here. All stress summates in the body. It all comes together. So the body either only knows whether it's overly stressed or it or it's or stress levels are, at, are under what its capacity is, meaning one doesn't feel stressed. So we have physical, chemical, electromagnetic, psychic, nutritional and thermal. So chemical toxins in the water, physical too much movement, too little movement, electromagnetic, UV from the sun, for example, psychic thinking, is your thinking good or is it bad? Uh, so is it helpful to you? Is it thinking that's causing you stress? Nutritional, organic food, non-organic food, too many toxins, um, thermal, too hot, too cold. We've got two lines here. One's green and one's red. We need a certain amount of stress in order to just keep the system working. The guy who actually invented the word and term stress said that the total absence of stress is death. So we need a certain amount in order to actually maintain ourselves. However, if it goes too much and then we get a whole load of this red excess stress from each one going into this single bucket, we either, that that's when we get just building up the stress levels into this red zone and then we've got, eventually, if people get stressed out too much and they never stop, eventually they'll just die. Like, that's just you're, that's just what happens. And so this picture here um, with the quote to it is something I found and uh, I'm going to be looking into more. But this person, this woman, was a dancer in the 20th century. So like 100 years ago. And this picture and the quote it just kind of encapsulates something that I think is really, really important to hold on to. It's the, just the root reason dance is an innate part of the, of human expression. It's an instinct that does not need to be taught. Music comes on, there's an instinct to move with it. That's innate from birth in all babies. Doesn't need to be taught. The instinct to shoot a basketball or kick a football might need to be shown once and then the passion can develop. But right from birth, when music's on, the instinct to move to it is there. So in terms of how primal and interwoven dance is with the human experience and just the human essence is so much deeper than a lot of other things. We can't forget how entwined that expression is with the soulful part of us, which is why Isadora Duncan here says, the dancer's body is simply the luminous manifestation of the soul, which I think is a really beautiful quote. So let's get into these points of an overview where we actually are currently. So when it comes to issues coming up, be them physical or mental, emotional, the general focus is on things like physiotherapy, personal trainers, osteopathy, massage, chiropractors, psychologists, therapists, and all that. And those are all really important contributions. The, the, one of the things that we do have at the same time, despite access to all of that stuff, is it, injury rates and the numbers of people having mental emotional challenges regardless of access 
to all of this, all of these treatments, it's still not really being dented. It's still very high. And that's to me, that seems a little bit backwards. If we have more access to all of these different healing modalities, surely the numbers should be coming down. And this is where the holistic principle comes in. Treatments are great and they're very important. However, the changes from them will not happen in a lasting manner unless they are built on top of a holistic foundation, meaning each treatment and therapy understands how they interweave and relate to other therapies. It doesn't work if we have sectionalized approaches where you do this for that and that for that, but none of those treatments are talking with each other and understanding how they fit to get how they fit to to each other and how one affects the other because a human isn't s separated like that our mind is not separated from our body our body is not separated from our mind what happens to one affects the other and vice versa so we with that being the truth of our system we can't treat that kind of a system in any other way than in the way that it is, which is holistic and integrated. Um, we'll come on to that a bit more as the presentation goes on. But uh, simply put, dancers are too stressed out all the time. And with the art form being physical, so, and naturally, naturally so, there's a large emphasis on exterior development, so like tangible stuff. Because the art form is the ability to like skillfully move one's limbs to music. So especially if someone's going to do it with a professional focus, then um, there's going to be a lot more emphasis on exterior kinesthetic movement type development. Uh, however, there seems to be a lack of the same level of emphasis on interior development as well. And when I say interior development, I'm talking about emotional management. I'm not talking about bringing one's feeling to the art form itself. I'm talking about one's general approach to managing their own emotions in the normal gravity of life, shall we say. And as Ken Wilber stated, we can't have exterior development without interior development to hold it in place. If, we just, if someone just focuses on exterior development, like kinesthetic, physical, athletic skill, that's really important. However, that is not the only part of life. Life is not one tiny bubble, and humans are not one specific aspect like kinesthetic development. We have other interests. We like to go here. We like to do that. We interact with different people just by walking out on the street. So we can't just have one thing. We need to have a lot of internal development to be able to just navigate normal life and our own humanness outside of what we're doing as well. So dance is too stressed out. That means that we haven't got proper management of these main stresses. So we've got too much of the red line going into the bucket, which means that stress levels are just a bit too high. And... So there's also like a, a bit of an abundance, and this is more so with the people that want to do it professionally.